In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. Our Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary to the people of the USA. Given to Ned Doherty. May 31, 2021. St. Rosalie's Campus, Hampton Bays, New York. I come to you today as your Lady of America, but I come bearing a message of importance for the whole world. On this day in America, you celebrate the remembrance of your men and women who sacrificed their lives in wars that were fought by your country in battles that were perceived to be in the best interests of your nation, and indeed, you must embrace the memory of these lost sons and daughters for their sacrifice was not in vain, for their mission in the eternal realms was achieved by their very victory in death. From their deaths came forth eternal life, as you will all discover when you meet your Father in heaven when your allotted time has come to enter the kingdom of heaven. The quandary for all of you is that the Father in heaven never intended for his children to go to war with each other, so the implementation and continuance of these wars have been the result of energies within your earthly realms that have caused mankind to bear arms against one another. In this regard, you who have been raised in America have been educated to become patriotic citizens and to pledge allegiance to your country and your flag. It is admirable for a country's citizens to cherish your national values and sovereignty, especially in America, which was created through the inspiration of the Father in heaven. However, the problem is that the global elites, the rich and powerful, have used the nationalism and patriotism of your country's citizens to assure that you will answer the call to bear arms when the time for war has come and that you will answer the call willingly, for you have been educated and trained from the earliest of ages by the global elites to answer the call to bear arms against your fellow man. However, the intentions and motivations of those in charge who wage these wars are for their own enrichment, and control and power over the rest of you. They use your patriotism and heroism to assure that they will have standing armies ready to fight for their interests while convincing the rest of you that it is also in your best interests to do their bidding. Do you understand the problem here? Global secret societies have instilled a perverted sense of nationality and patriotism among the masses to enforce their demonic control over young people sent to war for the greedy intentions of the global elites. Now the intentions and plans of the global elites are coming back to haunt them. Although they counted on instilling patriotism and heroism in the past to serve their greedy needs in their wars, they now must deal with the majority of the people of your nation who have come to realize that they have been manipulated into fighting wars on behalf of the global elites and are no longer willing to fight against unforeseen or unidentifiable enemies who are so chosen by the elites. Now that the plan of the elites calls for the diminution and eventual destruction of the nationality and sovereignty of the United States of America, the globalist elites now realize that patriotic Americans are no longer deceived into supporting the aims of the global elites. The armies of America now consist of soldiers who are willing to fight for the nationality and sovereignty of America, but not to support the globalist, Marxist goals of the secret and occult societies that are calling for the destruction of America. So now the globalist elites are turning to a new partner and military force, the greatest threat to world peace, communist China. As I have warned in the past in my messages to you, communism represents the greatest threat to world peace and preservation, and the communists of China and their global elite partners are spearheading this threat against the rest of humanity. In the most recent attack against humanity by these demonic partners, they could no longer utilize the patriotic men and women of America to wage the latest volley in their third world war against humanity. 
Indeed, the pandemic that is ravaging humanity is an act of war by the China Communist Party and their global elite partners, sinister individuals who operate through their secret and occult societies to rain terror upon humanity in an attempt to usher in a new world order, which is the demonic plan of the evil one who is in league with his minions here on earth. Know this. That the minions of Satan here on earth are your enemy and you must recognize who your enemy is, for your enemy is also the enemy of your Father in heaven. Your Redeemer, the Son of the Father, and your Heavenly Mother who is speaking to you now. Mark my words, citizens of the United States of America. You must rise up against the tyranny of communism and anarchy orchestrated by the demonic proponents of the New World Order, the global elites, and their communist enforcers. Members of your military services must individually discern the intentions and motivations of your military leaders who are controlled by the global elites, for many of them are in league with the demonic forces and are hellbent to render your military forces impotent. Allowing your enemies to destroy the nationality and sovereignty of the United States of America to achieve the evil one's plans to subjugate all of humanity under the power and control of Satan's minions. You must be aware that military leaders who are now attempting to censure and cancel your sense of nationality and loyalty are acting on behalf of enemies of your country. A groundswell of true patriotism and loyalty to country must arise among military members and leaders so that the armed force of your country stand alert to defend your nationality and sovereignty and to weed out those in the military who are agents of the demonic influences that are attempting to destroy the United States of America. If true patriots remain steadfast and loyal within your military, your country will be in a strong position to defeat the real enemies of the United States of America, the purveyors of communism and Marxism, and their demonic New World Order. Remember that the Father in Heaven never intended for His children to go to war with each other. The power of your prayers is greater than any weapon that the evil one may utilize against God's children. With the blessing of the Father in Heaven, your patriotic fervor and resolve should be the only weapons necessary to defeat Satan's minions, the communists, Marxists, and global elites, who you must weed out from your ranks. So be it. Thanks be to God. Join others and pray for your parish and or your diocesan priests on Zoom. The information is in the video description.